Yo, Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752, and this is your daily go get him is the number 459. For January 5th, 2015, I got something in the mail today, and I want y'all to check it out. You know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to my man Jobs, and shout out to the whole My Skin is My Sin conscious movement. They're doing big things, and they sent me a little gift today. Just courtesy of uh, participating in their movement. And this is it right here. They sent me this, this fly ass sweatshirt. And I want to thank them for that. And put this joint on right here. Put the my skin is my sin right on over the Million Man March right there. Because they coincide, you know. Ah. What would they like? What it look like when you're on the mic, yellow sucker MCs don't buy, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, I'm feeling that. You feeling that? It's nice. It's nice. See that? See, see, see. see that continent right there? Right there on the heart. All right. Huh? Uh -huh. All right. Yo. Shout out, Jobs. Shout out. My skin is my sin. Today I wanted to talk to y'all about thinking that the worst is yet to come. Sometimes we can fall into that trap. Sometimes we can easily fall into the trap of thinking that because things aren't working out for us in the beginning of the year, that that's the way things are going to be for the rest of the year. We got to get out of that thinking though, because that thinking is kind of irresponsible and it's not very forward thinking. And it's only, it's only going to make things worse for us in the long run because we're concentrating on the negativity. We spread negativity instead of concentrating on the positivity that we all need to spread and that we all need to be a part of. It's, it's tough though. Around this time of year, it gets so hard for, for, for so, so many of us. You know, utility, utilities are being shut off for a lot of people. Uh, people are broke. Because of Christmas time, a lot of a lot of frivolous spending, you know, holiday spending, and a lot of people don't make it from the year before to the current year. And it seems like so many people die within the first month of the year, and it puts a damper on our spirit. And sometimes it can take away from our our positivity about the good things that are forthcoming or some of the things that are happening right now. One of the good things that are happening right now is that people, a lot of people are born in the first month of the year. Shout out to all my Capricorns out there. You know what I mean? But I understand how sometimes because we forget that the people, many of the people who passed away in the beginning of the year were already sick last year, maybe even the year before, the year before, the year before. So, you know, it's, it's pretty much a culmination of all things, but there's something about the beginning of the year that makes it seem more extreme because we hoping that they'll make it to the next year, but the next year is so far away, 300 and something days, you know, depending on when you, when you, when you pass away. But also babies are born during this month. The bottom line is this. When, things, when other things in your life aren't going so well, it seems like the, the things that are happening in the beginning of the year are going to be representative of what's going to be going on for the rest of the year. But as the year goes on, you know that's not true. You know that's not true because think about how many people get gym memberships in the beginning of the year but don't really follow through with them for the rest of the year. So even the good things that start out in the beginning of the year aren't necessarily going to be the things that are going to continue for the rest of the year. You know what I mean? A lot of people are upset because, because of other things, other personal things that aren't going as well as they would like them to in the beginning of the year. And it's the beginning of the year that you really concentrate on making change happen. But remember, change has to happen. You can't always make it happen. What you have to do is you have to put your ducks in a row and, and organize things so that the changes can occur naturally, gradually. And they will occur naturally and gradually. It's just that 
other business, unfinished business, probably from the year before has to be taken care of. And we have to be the ones to take care of. But I want to tell y'all out there, just hold your head. Hold your head. Whatever hap whatever's happening right here in the first month of January doesn't necessarily have to be representative of the things that are going to be going on in December of this year. But if we do the right things right now, if we plant those seeds, just like just like when you when you plant a seed in the ground, you don't get a, a plant or a tree the next day. But what you do is you water it, you give it the light, you cultivate it. And then day by day by day it grows, it grows. And then, and then it becomes, you know, something beautiful that you can even watch grow and, and witness as life. Or it becomes something that will be um, good and healthy for you to eat. And it's a beautiful thing. And that's the that's sort of the way we have to look at look at the events that happen in our lives. We can't take any disappointments that we may have as being the way that it's going to be for the rest of our existence. One single year notwithstanding. So the best thing that we can do for ourselves right now is start getting rid of our negative thoughts. Put them out of there. See that door right there? Put those negative thoughts out that door. And let that door be representative of your mind. So the negativity that goes in here, put it out there. Say, yo, I don't, I don't really have no time for you. You got to go. And the positivity, we got to get it in here. So that positivity needs to come through that door. Like, come on in here. Come on in, come on in here. Sit right here. Stay for a while. Put your feet up. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. And if you think about all of the things that have happened in your life, you've been built for this. You've been built to, to know that tomorrow is going to come. You're going to be there. And some good things are going to happen. They may not stay happening. But when they do happen, they happen because they were supposed to happen to you. Either you put that in motion or the universe got that going for you. Now all you have to do is stay on the right track. Get back. It's going to be alright, man. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And just understand that with the, that the things that happen in the beginning of the year aren't necessarily going to be the way that they are for the rest of the year. And that's good or bad. But don't take the bad to mean that that's representative of the rest of the year to come. The year, switch it over from the previous year to the current year, is really nothing but the change of the day, the month, and the year. But mostly just the day. So if you were doing the right things yesterday, then those right things are going to represent you and manifest themselves today. The same way as if you were doing the wrong things last year, it's not going to miraculously change and, and, and um and turn around for you the next day. You gotta put in the work. But it's a test. Everything in life is a test. <coughs> Peep this out. Everything in you everything you do in life is a test. But you'll never be able to pass, pass those tests if you keep skipping out on the exams. You'll never be able to pass pass the test that you're given in life if you keep skipping out on the exams. Take those tests. Study for them and pass them well. The way that you study for them is by just doing what you know is right. Let your ancestors guide you. Let your, let your elders advise you. And you do the same thing for your babies and your, and your youth. And you be out. I'm going to holler at y'all. You know what I'm saying? My new sweatshirt. Nah, that. You know that? I get with y'all. Peace.